Hey guys, uh, this is Michael, and this is part one of my Ruby walkthrough. So I'm doing a walkthrough on Pokemon Ruby just because I thought it'd be a cool game to do it on. And uh, here we go. Now it says the save file is corrupt for some reason. It's just because I'm using an emulator, not my actual Game Boy, because it's a lot easier to film and stuff. So, uh, yep, yeah, that's just part of the thing. It's weird, I don't know. Anyway, so new game. Here we go. And here's Professor Birch. So he's gonna say hi to me and tell me about Pokemon and stuff like that. And just introduce me to the game. He sends out his uh, Azuril. Which is now just like sitting there in front of him, staring at me. Anyway, so uh, here we go. Um, I hope you enjoy my Ruby walkthrough. And... Uh, I hope it turns out well. It's my first my first walkthrough. And he's still talking about introducing me to the Pokemon. Oh, here we go. Am I a boy or am I a girl? Well, I'm going to choose boy. There we go. And I'm going to name myself Mike, because that's my name. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to shrink down to tiny size for some random reason that I still don't really understand. Well, actually, no. It's not true. I do understand it because you have to be small to actually play the game. Anyway. Woo! Shrink. And I'm in the moving truck with some furniture and boxes and stuffs. And now I walk out. And so uh, this is your hometown in Hoenn. It's called Little Root Town. That's the region, by the way, Hoenn. It's that uh, the Ruby Sapphire and Emerald games are set in. Anyway, so, just uh, walk into my house here, and there's some machokes moving the furniture. Isn't that like Pokemon labor or something? Like, is that even legal? Nah, just kidding. Anyway. So now I'm in my room. Looks like I've got a GameCube and a clock and some stuff. My mom told me to set the clock, so I'll... You have to set the clock at the beginning of the game to whatever time it is. And I'm just doing that now. It's a sweet clock. I want one. Okay. So, um, here we go. Also, if you haven't uh, seen our other videos, we just have walkthroughs and videos about Pokemon sprites and stuff. Actually, we're doing a crystal walkthrough right now, currently. Okay. So, uh, now she's telling me to check what's on my desk, so... I will, anyway, just to show you the room, but... I mean, I'm not gonna, like, look at everything every time I go into a room in this game. Just this first, just this one time in my room. Just because it's, like, my room. 
and I feel like it. So there's my TV and my GameCube. I like GameCubes. They're pretty cool. I had one. Okay. Did you go to bed? And now we're done. Time to go downstairs. Okay, so... Apparently my dad is the Pedalberg gym leader. Actually, no, I already knew that. I've played this game before. Anyway. Now my mom's telling me to meet the professor. So I'll leave the house, and uh, here we go. It doesn't even look like a Pokemon lab. It looks like some kind of cottage. But the professor isn't here. <laughs> so I just talked to his like assistant, who's telling me that he's on a field trip or something like that. It's some kind of field thing. Field research. I don't know. I forget what he said already. So I'll just, um, I'll leave and, uh, go into my neighbor's house here, because that's what you're supposed to do. I know that from playing this game previously. So, uh, my neighbor may ends up being my rival in the game, as your neighbor mostly does in most Pokemon games, other than the Johto ones, where your rival is some random criminal. So, oh, sorry, accidentally walked down the stairs. So there's May, who, as I said, ends up being my rival, and she's reading some book. Cool. So, uh, she's saying I'm May, and she had a dream about becoming friends with me, which I think is a bit weird, but anyway. Okay, so, um, here we go. She, uh, said she's going to catch some Pokemon, so, um, yeah, I guess I'll go too. Um, so when you go up here, you should see Professor Birch being chased by Poochiana, which I'm about to see. Yep, there we go. He just screamed help. He's being chased around by a dog that's probably, like, smaller than a, s like, four-year-old, but he's still somewhat scared of it. And I'm really not sure why. And apparently I can't run away. I have to help him. So, now there's the three starters. Torchic, Mudkip, and Trico. Torchic's fire, Mudkip's water, and Trico's grass. And I'm going to pick Trico because I've actually never picked Trico in any of the Hoenn games that I've had. Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. So I'm going to pick him. And now I'm just going to fight uh, Poochiana. So I'll just like... <laughs> Uh, just fight him. I'll just... I'll just keep pounding him. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, like, kind of sneezed at the same time I said him there, so... It sounded kind of weird. I have a cold, that's why I sneezed. Okay, so uh, he's just thanking me for saving. <laughs> he's just thanking me for saving him. Anyway, okay, so uh, now he's giving me the treat code because I helped him. I guess he's grateful. Anyway, so I'm gonna name the treat code Jerry because I've decided to name all most of my Pokemon in this game just random human names. Not really sure why, I just felt like doing it. Just fun idea. Not really... I don't know. Just gonna do it. Anyway. So, he's just saying I'm gonna make a good trainer. And, uh, giving me reassuring words. And telling me his daughter is out somewhere catching Pokemon. Anyway, so, that basically brings, brings us to the end of the first part of the walkthrough. 